Hello everyone and welcome back to another GCSE Geography Help video. Today we're still looking at population change but we're going on birth and death rates. It's video number three. So it's what we looked at so far. This week we're going to have a look at the world population graph, demographic transition model and the effects of changing rates. This is birth and death rates changing. So, what is birth rate? Now, birth rate is specifically the amount of births per 1,000 of the population. This is so that you compare different countries, different sized populations on the same scale, because it's not going to be a country if there's less than 1,000 people in the population. So, here's a few examples of mid, high, and low uh, birth rates. And you see that the low birth rate is in MEDC, Italy. Death rate, again, same sort of thing, the amount of deaths per 1,000 of the population. And again, you see uh, the low and the mid are MEDCs and the high is an LEDC. We'll find out later. So, this is MEDCs. The general trend is the birth rate and death rate are practically, you know, together, the same sort of number. The 1 and minus 4, very, very low as well. And this means the population is either slowly increasing or slowly decreasing. But generally, a steady population in comparison to LEDCs, which you see huge numbers, nearly 30 on both of them. And this means that the population is rapidly increasing. And this is because of poor health care, no family planning, stuff like that. And then this is where you can put it all together, the demographic transition model. So those LEDCs that we saw on the last slide, they're in zone 2 to 3, so in the middle. And they've got a, the red line, the total population is really increasing. And that's because of a much lower death rate than birth rate. So more people are being born than bit people dying. And then stage 4 is where most of your MEDCs are. Steady population, slightly increasing, but generally steady. And this is because the birth and death rate are about the same, like we saw with the UK and Hungary further back. And then stage five is where Italy and Germany and those sort of MEDCs come in, where the birth rate is starting to go lower than the death rate again, which means the population is slightly going lower, only slightly. So yeah, as you'll see, Stage 5 and stage 1 are the complete opposites of each other. They've both got steady populations, but one is a high steady population and one is a low steady population. The LEDCs are the stuff in the middle. So, I think that's about it for this week. See you next time.